You know, we mentioned blockbusters, but uh, a number of smaller films managed to break through and, and made a name for themselves. I know that you, like, like Steven Spielberg, were a fan of Once yep. movie, which I didn't care for that much, but I know a lot of people did. Uh, you seek out that kind of thing? You like uh, being tipped off that there's a small... I, yeah, I went to see. I went to see that because people said how good it was, and, uh, and tell no one that the Sir Michael Caine's favourite film. I, I saw sit on the same basis that it was um, knew nothing about it, and it was word of mouth. Um, once just seemed very fresh and very simple, and and then you thought, oh yes, this is a bit like the commitments, and there's all sorts of resonances here. But just the simplicity of it, and the sheer that guy's singing was just so brilliant. Take this story about making an album, isn't it? Yeah. How you would make an album if you just came off the street and how you might also fall in love. Also, it's a love story with no sex scene in it, which is interesting, mm. where there's no consummation moment. It's just, that's just brilliant. She says, yeah, we go and have hanky-panky, that will be fun. Well, why? What's the point? And you think, actually, that's just great. Yeah, but wouldn't your heart sink in real life if a young woman said that to you, Tom? Well, I think it's all negotiable. Maybe I'll get it next time. <laughs> That's what I like about you. You're an optimist. <laughs>